Independent scientific decision making. EFSA applies a robust policy and set of internal mechanisms to safeguard the independence of its scientific work and that of its scientific committee, panels and working groups. Members of EFSA's scientific committee, scientific panels and working groups are appointed only after they satisfy EFSA's rules. These rules are publicly available on the EFSA website. Members of EFSA's scientific committee and panels are appointed by the management board, whose members are themselves appointed by the Council of the European Union and are mandated to act in the public interest. The management board has no influence on EFSA's scientific advice. This is the sole responsibility of EFSA's experts. All external scientific experts working for EFSA are required to sign a declaration of commitment, including a commitment to act independently. They also need to provide an annual declaration of interests to avoid potential conflicts of interest. Having an interest does not necessarily mean that there is a conflict of interest. For example, an expert who has carried out commercially funded research on genetically modified organisms could apply for a position on the Animal Health and Welfare Panel. If a conflict of interest is identified, that person cannot sit on the relevant panel or working group. All of the DOIs and requests for scientific advice are published on the EFSA website. Experts are also required to declare in advance of meetings they attend any specific interests relating to each agenda point and any additional interests orally at the beginning of the meeting. EFSA screens the information and decides whether a declared interest constitutes a conflict. Any declared interests are assessed in the context of the group task and the role that the individual would be expected to play in the group, according to EFSA's rules. EFSA then decides whether there is a conflict. All scientific opinions adopted by EFSA's scientific committee and scientific panels are the outcome of collective deliberations, with each member having an equal say. No single expert can unduly influence the decisions of the panel, and minority views are recorded. These are some of the important measures which together help to assure the independence and integrity of EFSA's scientific advice.